How's it going, guys? Back for another beer review. Taking a little break out of some uh, podcast preparation for tonight uh, to review the final beer sent to me by Guy, the Flying Frenchman, Beer Guy Reviews, the Dirty French Wizard. And this is Collective Arts uh, Brewing Limited out of Hamilton. This is their Stranger Than Fiction Porter. So the Stranger Than Fiction. I can't remember if that's a series or if that's just the name of this porter itself i assume it's the series i think um 5.5 percent alcohol by volume of course these guys uh get like artists to design their labels or they use pieces of artwork for their beer labels and at any rate uh so here we got someone from where is this uh it says here somewhere what the fuck this guy is. Otis Todd Robinson, London, UK. And he's got this uh, picture of a astronaut doing spacewalk. So there you go. And I'll see what they list here for the ingredients. Uh, malt, two row and chocolate, dark chocolate, biscuit, flaked wheat, and crystal caraform. And the hops are Cascade and Nugget. Not familiar with Nugget hops. Alright. <clears throat> Some dark foam. Alright, wow, she's pretty dark. Wow, that's really dark. I'm barely getting any light through that sucker, so that's like a really solid dark brown or... Yeah, I'm not even getting like ruby red hints, like... It's either a really solid dark brown or it's very, very unfiltered, one or the other. And it's got a very nice tan head on there. Probably a little bit bigger than it should be. I think I poured a little too aggressively here, and... These, these glasses are not very conducive to uh, being cooperative if you pour a little too aggressively. The head will stick. Uh, yeah, so we'll go right to the aroma. Mmm. <clears throat> Velvety chocolate and coffee kind of thing going on here. Very... Creamy smelling, if you get my drift, or sort of like mocha, mocha coffee, I guess, because it's got that sort of cream, chocolate, and coffee thing all com combined together. It's got a nuttiness to it as well in the smell. Uh, sort of, sort of musty. I assume that's actually kind of the wheat coming up here, or they said it was wheat in this. What was it? Yeah, wheat, flaked wheat. So, we're getting a little bit of that. Nice. Very, very nice. Very light, smooth, nice. You smell on it long enough, some of this sort of forms together and sort of comes off like a slight dark fruit kind of smell. Just very slightly, though. Not very overt. All right, we're going right to the taste. Cheers. Wow. That's very tasty. Mm, but medium bodied <clears throat> definitely all those sort of flavors I uh, all those notes I sort of described in the nose um, they sort of combine together in the taste as well very mocha very very mocha um, 
it's both complex and it's not at the same time, if you get my drift, because all those little flavors are in there. And if you take your time to sort of, I guess, meditate on them and, and pick them up, you will get them separately. But for the most part, you're just straight drinking this. They all come together in this very sort of big mocha taste. And then it trails off into this uh, very roasty finish, which is very nice. This is one of the more flavorful standard porters I've ever had. Actually, I'd probably go as far as to say this is more like a robust porter almost. Um, so although the alcohol, I guess, sort of goes against that. Because um, if it was a robust porter, it should probably be more like 6% or above, uh, from what I can recall. Um, but yeah, just flavor-wise, this is very flavorful. Packs a bigger punch than a lot of porters out there. Um, at the, but at the same time, it keeps things fairly simple, even though there's a lot going on. The overall, um, the overall final, uh, product, I guess, uh, when it, when it goes into your mouth and you taste it, uh, as much as there is going on in it, it, it all comes together into this one smooth, nice flavor that moves over to... The, the roastiness and the finish. I'm going to have to look up Nugget Hops. I'm not familiar with them. See if I'm... See, after the fact, or if I'm done this review, if I'm actually getting the Nugget Hops. I don't know. Uh, I can't really say I'm getting much of the Cascade. I think more just, like, bitterness than anything else might be coming up. But... Not so much flavor. It's very good. That's excellent, actually. Um, yeah, the uh, Stranger Than Fiction's... Uh, the Collective Art Stranger Than Fiction Porter. That is going to get a... Uh, you know what? I'm going to go... I'm going to go 4, 5, and a 5. That is highly enjoyable stuff. It's got a bit more going on than your standard porters. And it's uh, ultimately more satisfying than a lot of porters you find around these days. Mm. Lovely. Thank you very much, Guy. And uh, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you down the road sometime.